Why don't you, why don't you come up here? You don't have to say anything. I just want you to just... I just want to see you cry again. Yeah. <laughs> you and me both. I'm deeply grateful for years and years of commitment to this long before I ever thought about it. And your understanding of things that as a system has changed, your understanding of the way we should change has been profound. And from the minute I sat down with you the first time I ever met you, it's been a great privilege to work alongside you in some of the most important things in my heart as governor you've been right there with me and you have served and you've got a group of people that love you and have worked alongside you and believe in you and will miss you and I'm still a little bit mad mad that you're leaving (laughs) like it was all this trouble to keep him and then he's leaving that's just just but uh, there's a whole lot of as I said to you when we signed these past bills, there will be children that don't go to prison because of you. And you have impacted the people of Tennessee by your service. And we are deeply grateful. And number one man of gratitude is me. Thank you. Thank you. So I used to always say about Tony that he was one of the most humble people I knew, except until just now I asked his son, I said, so tell me, what do you call him? And point him, I thought I was going to get a papa or daddy. He goes, commissioner. (laughs) I'm like, that warming love, you know, that warm, loving family relationship. Yeah. Hey, guess what? Pretty soon you don't have to call him that anymore. Tony, you have been outstanding. If you walk around this room and everybody that would, I've heard this 10 times today, people would say, you know, his heart's just in the right place. And that's just true. You're smart. You have incredible knowledge of the system and your heart's in the right place. And in in my book, he's as good as they come. So thank you. 39 incredible years of service to the state. Five and a half as commissioner, I think. And in all that, like I said, the the main fact is this whole room of people would say, here's a man whose heart's in the right place. So thank you very much and congratulations. Hi, Commissioner. Happy retirement from the Knoxville DRC. We have a poem for you. You have worked so hard. You have come so far. I know you know how blessed you are. New tomorrows, brand new plans, all of them are in God's hands. You will have more time in the day to hope, to dream, to rest, and to play. You will find new ways to be inspired. Congratulations, Commissioner. You're retired! Commissioner Parker, uh, TP, Tony, my friend, uh, my brother. Listen, uh, I appreciated uh, all the time that you spent talking to me. Uh, uh, Those late nights on the phone, uh, those early morning stand-ups. Uh, You've been a great boss and a good friend. Uh, I will miss you uh, at work, but I look forward to spending more time with you over the months and years to come. Uh, Enjoy that family. Take care of those little ones. Uh, Love you, brother. Peace. Hey, boss. I just wanted to wish you a, a happy retirement and thank you so much for your excellent, dedicated service for so many years for the Tennessee Department of Correction and for everybody in the state of Tennessee. But also... On a personal note, I want to thank you so much for always just being such a great leader for me and teaching me so much and being patient with me and giving me the opportunities that you have. I wish you and your family nothing but the very best, always, and we're all going to miss you. I appreciate Commissioner Parker, just want to say uh, thank you for everything that you've done for me over the years and also for the state. Um, happy for you, your family, after such a distinguished career um, to be moving on with the next chapter of your life and being at home with those that matter most. Um, so happy for you and um, look forward to still your involvement in, in, this, um, in this line of work, knowing that you'll still be involved in a number of different ways. So look forward to that next chapter. Congratulations. Commissioner Parker, what do we say? We're your classmates. <laughs> uh, we're gonna miss you dearly. I appreciate the leadership, the things that I learned from you, I'll never forget. 
And one thing that you need to learn from me is how to graduate. <laughs> well, old head, you know me. It's the end of the road now. now how do I say goodbye to yesterday? So I won't say goodbye, but enjoy yourself. Enjoy your kids. Take care of mama. Uh, we holler at you. We see you when you see you. Happy retirement. Hi, Commissioner, here we are, your 6-4 admin group. Carolyn, Miranda, Sarah, Pat, and me, Lorraine. You're leaving with an exceptional past and beginning a new journey and chapter of your life. May all your days ahead be blessed and filled with triumph. We thank you for your integrity, dedication, and leadership. Don't ever forget us. You might need an admin in your new future. Enjoy your new adventure from all of us. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hey boss, um, hate to see you go. Uh, congratulations on your endeavors and everything you've accomplished. Uh, we've enjoyed your leadership. It's sorely to be missed. Thank you. Mr. Parker, I just wanted to say that I wish you the very best in your retirement. And I really appreciate the opportunity you gave me to work with you and to serve under you. Your leadership has set an example for all of us here that will continue on even after you've retired. Tony Parker. Man, let me tell you, baby, it's been a good ride. Let me tell you something, man, the years have been good. You've been kind. Not only a, a good supervisor, a good mentor, and a good friend overall. And hey, man, I'm gonna get through without shedding the tear, baby. And listen, I see you in the blind, man. We're gonna kill a few of them and sit back and tell stories about TDOC. You hold it down, man. You take due notice thereof, and govern yourself accordingly. All right. Hi, Commissioner Parker. It's Mike Miskell here, the director of ACA's Office of Correctional Health. Uh, I'm so, so happy to know you uh, and to have worked with you over the last five and a half years that I've been with ACA. It's, it's amazing to think all that you've accomplished throughout your 38 years. Uh, it's amazing. It's amazing and it's a testament to uh, your passion for helping people do better. I remember the quote you uh, you cited a few months back where you say, working hard at something you don't enjoy, it's called stress. Working really hard at something that you love is called a passion. And I completely agree with you and the, the passion that you have for this industry and this field and for our staff and for our incarcerated individuals is, is amazing. And, what a huge loss to Tennessee DOC, but congratulations to you. It always feels bittersweet, and I'm happy for you in this next chapter of your phase, uh, phase of life through uh, everything that you've accomplished. Uh, you should definitely be very, very proud. Enjoy the time with Misty and the kids, and uh, I can't wait to see you again. Commissioner Parker, I just want to wish you a heartfelt congratulations on your retirement. It has certainly been an honor to work with you. I want to personally thank you for um, taking a chance on me in this new role that I have and uh, showing me confidence in my ability to handle it. And it has certainly been a privilege and a pleasure to work with you, sir. Congratulations, Commissioner. I hope you enjoy your retirement. You've done a lot of great things for the department and I'm so happy that I can be a small part of it with you. Enjoy those twins. Well, Commissioner Parker, uh, the day is finally here that you are going to ride off in the sunset. And I have to admit, I am extremely, extremely happy for you and sad for the rest of us. But uh, we will soldier on and good luck uh, on Real Foot Lake fishing and playing with the tractor and the kids and doing all the things that all of us wish we could also do. So good luck. Hey, Commissioner Parker, this is bittersweet. You are truly going to be missed. Thank you so much for being the impactful leader you were and having that dedication and commitment to rehabilitation. Now go enjoy your hunting and your fishing and come back and be a 120 day employee for us. Take care, bye. Commissioner Parker, or soon to be Tony. I just want to say that it has been an honor getting to know you over the last couple of years. Seeing your leadership and watching what you've done uh, over the years with Tennessee Department of Corrections has just been a pleasure to see and an honor. And uh, wishing you nothing but the best as you move forward into your future endeavors. Congratulations, Mr. Parker. Been a pleasure. Going to miss you. I know we ain't heard the last of you. Got a lot of stuff going on, but 
I'll tell you something that people have to ask you about. I need your personal cell phone number because I'm going to send you a picture when I roll my goatee back. Good luck, boss. Hey, honey, congratulations. I'm excited to be sharing this day with you. It's been a long time coming. I'm so very proud of the work you've done and the passion you've had to make a difference in corrections. Over the years, God has allowed you to be surrounded by people who encouraged, supported, and motivated you to be the leader that you are today. You will be greatly missed by so many, and that speaks volumes about the impact that you've had on the lives of others. I appreciate every sacrifice you've made in order to provide for our family. You are one of the few who will retire after 38 years and return to a home that has two kids still in second grade. Some of your future days will be filled with making lunches or helping with homework, but I hope others are filled with fishing on Real Foot Lake, playing golf, and mastering the banjo. Here's to living your life to the fullest. You so deserve it. I love you, and I can't wait to have you home. Congratulations on your retirement, Daddy. Now you get to come home. Welcome home, Dad. And we are super glad that you are retiring. I love you. Welcome home, Daddy. No more working forever. But well, maybe some of the computer work. But we're still going to spend time with our family and hope we always have a blessed day and we might can some play games once in a while. Love you. To see the department go from a lock em up, throw away the key type system to a rehabilitation system that's really geared toward helping people to be better when they get out back into the community. And I appreciate everything that you've taught me, your guidance. I appreciate the kind words you've given me. And every now and then I have to look back and make sure I still got some. I appreciate those as well, sir. <laughs> Um, but again, we just all want to thank you so much, and I want to personally thank you so much for everything, and all your guidance and, and everything. We love you, and we appreciate you. And the one thing that sticks out to me, I don't know if you remember this, but on the fifth floor when I was working up there, you had me do a PowerPoint for you, and it was my first opportunity to actually do a project for you, and I was so nervous. But you took the opportunity, and you marked out every page of every mistake I made, but the one thing that that has taught me is to, one, stay focused on the course, put your best foot forward, and you have showed, truly done that in your leadership, so I appreciate you and thank you. Thank you, Tom. And there's a song that says, may the life that I live speak for me. And I'm just thankful that for all that you have done for the department, for our offenders, and how we have grown. I'm forever grateful for you believing in me, for you entrusting me to do what I do, and I thank you. Uh, you told me something once before, early on, and you said if you're going to be a wheel, you got to roll. Right. So I guess your rolling is over with. <laughs> My tired well, Yeah, you're tired, but no, it's not nowhere close to being over with. We want to thank you and just give you a token of our appreciation. We realize that life does not consist of the abundance of things, but we just want to give you a small token of, of us and appreciation, let you know we love you, thank you, and we'll be seeing you around. God bless you. I don't know if you remember or not, you told me something a long time ago. People may forgive, but they never forget. That helps when you're doing this work. Uh, be careful what you say. People will never forget nothing. Appreciate you. It's been a pleasure. A leader is one who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. Thank you for all your wisdom and help during our adventures, whatever they individually may be. As we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. May we live up to your example. Happy retirement. Now there's one rumor going around, and today it started, that he's retiring. And I want everybody to know that that's not the truth. Okay, I just want you all to understand that. Because, uh, Mr. President, there's more work to be done. And I look forward to it, sir, and I appreciate you. Regardless of what time, whenever you needed him, you know, he's there. That's what it takes to be in those seats. The other directors here who sat in those seats, you get that. But with Tony, I saw something in Tony a long time ago. I was new to Tennessee. We came and I visited the facility and we had a good conversation about how much he stayed in the back of the prison. <laughs> and, you know, but you, I'm going to let you tell that story, Tony. But, but, but it, it told me something. 
that if I wanted to succeed, I needed to make sure I had somebody that would be ready to take over and take it to the next step. And that was Tony Parker. And I listened today, and I can say, job well done. I'm so proud of you, so proud that we got to work together. And man, you can't have a greater compliment from your boss than what the governor said. So Tony, job well done. I love you, brother. The year was 1983 when a young Tony Parker first stepped foot inside a Tennessee prison. I remember at 19 years old coming in as a kid thinking, you know, what, what is corrections really all about? And, and thinking, you know what, this, this is a good job for now. Uh, of course, back then jobs were not plentiful like they are today. And, so it's a good job until, you know, something else comes along and then you stay two or three years and you get interested in certain elements of the job and you find yourself five, ten years into it and before you know, 38 years is here. At first, Parker thought working as a correctional officer would be a temporary job. Yeah, so the first day I walked into prison, I, you know, 18 19 year old man, I was thinking, you know, like, what is this all about? You know, I can still remember the smell of a prison. I can still remember the things back then, the captain, the captain ran, there was no assistant wardens. There were, they were captains that ran security. And, you know, the captain telling us, look, you know, you need to remember this number. This is a number to operations. If you get in trouble, here's the number you need to call. Uh, you know, and I, I I can think about how do we keep up with these, you know, five or six hundred people that's out here in this compound running around? How do I know this person lives in my unit? And uh, all those questions that a new, we call them people, new buddies, you know, how a new, a new employee would, would know. And, and, you know, in time, realizing that, you know, there's processes in place that you, you become more familiar with these people that you supervise each day and, uh, and, and all the misconceptions that I had as a young guy coming into corrections and uh, yeah, it, there's so much of, I think what the public still sees today is corrections and they really don't have a good understanding of what we really do. But soon, Parker would find himself digging deeper into corrections and quickly promoting through the ranks to corporal, sergeant, lieutenant, captain, and eventually warden of both the Northwest Correctional Complex and the West Tennessee State Penitentiary. It was there that he caught the attention of TDOC leadership and was promoted to correctional administrator, then assistant commissioner of prisons, but the shock of his life, aside from having twins at age 50, was the day he was named commissioner. I remember where I was standing when uh, Bill Haslam called me and, and talked to me about the job. And I told him, I said, man, I'm nervous. I, he said, well, don't be nervous. You know, you've done this all your whole life. But those were, those were profound moments. I remember when, you know, Governor Lee asked me to stay. Uh, I remember uh, the good times. Part of the good times has included witnessing and leading the evolution of corrections since the 1980s from a punitive model to becoming more focused on rehabilitation and helping people turn their lives around. I'm so proud to see more of a focus now toward providing people opportunities to, you know, correct behavior. Uh, do the things they need to do to return and be successful. Uh, that's been the biggest change, and, and Tennessee is in a much better shape today than it, than it has been uh, over the last two administrations. With Governor Haslam and Governor Lee, certainly we, we've moved the needle, and I'm proud of that because really that's the true mission of correction. For Team TDOC, achieving that mission under Parker's leadership sometimes requires bilingual skills in order to understand what has become known as Parkerisms. Here are our top 10 Parkerisms. It's so quiet, you can hear a mouse pee on a cotton ball. Hmm. <laughs> that don't pass the stupid test. Hey, do me a favor, 
See if you can get some work out of Dorinda today. She's as lost as last year's Easter eggs. I don't run prisons. That's your baby to rock. That dog don't hunt. <laughs> That's like bragging on your hunting dog. That's like bragging on your hunting dog. That, that, that <laughs> if I tell you a chicken can plow, look him up. If you're having trouble seeing the light, turn up the fire. <laughs> I'm, I'm gone, gone like, like a cool breeze in July. Why well, I mean it's it's you know, it's plain common language, you know, like it's not my baby to rock, you know, right? I, you hear me say that all the time, and I think that's one of Kelly's and some others' favorite sayings. Uh, that's an old West Tennessee tradition, you know. That's something we, uh, growing up in rural West Tennessee, you know, we, uh, my dad always said you have to talk to people in a language they understand, right? So, yeah, it's kind of the simple side of Tony Parker, which is basically me. I'm I'm a pretty simple guy. Some people have caught on to it, and some people still, I still need a translator sometime to talk to some people, you know. Along with the Parkerisms, Commissioner also brought the annual barbecue cook-off challenge to TDOC. The barbecue tradition in West Tennessee is big, but we've kind of brought that to TDOC, right? Because I got some people in Middle Tennessee and some people in East Tennessee that think they know how to cook barbecue. I could call names, but I'm not going to. But uh, yeah, we've, we, you know, uh, West Tennessee is pretty stout on the barbecue competition, you know. Uh, so I throw that out to people like John Fisher, and I said I wasn't going to call names, all right. Yeah, and Darren Settles, but I'm not going to call any names. But uh, we'll, we'll teach them a few things, especially, you know, when I leave office and I can go back competing, right? And, and uh, I'll, I'll show him a few things about barbecue. And the first time he ever drank coffee was on third shift at Lake County Regional. I was the only one working third that didn't drink coffee. And I had this captain come around and say, boy, you're going to have to drink coffee. You know, you got to learn to drink coffee. And so I started drinking this coffee. And, you know, it was so black. You could, it was solid black and you could pour it out. It's kind of like syrup. And First time I drank about two cups of that coffee, my hands was shaking so bad I couldn't even hold a pen, you know. So, yeah, I, I grew up drinking coffee. And I remember the first time I had good coffee, right, like Folgers. And I thought, man, that's really good, you know. That's I, But, uh, yeah, state raised, right. While there are some things Commissioner Parker will miss, there are other things he will not. I most look forward to not having to answer a phone, not having, to, not sleeping with a phone next to me all the time, and just the things that a commissioner thinks about. And, and it's unfortunate, but a lot of times, you know, the anticipated bad news that we have from time to time, and being able to sleep late, and you know, and enjoy the things I used to enjoy before. Uh, taking on more responsibility, you know, being a dad more full-time, uh, being home with family, still being able to be involved in corrections to a certain degree and helping where I can help out and uh, enjoying life, right? I mean, you know, I'm, I'm still a young man, but uh, I'm older than when I started, and I want to make sure that, you know, I focus on family, uh, and the things that are really important in this life. In the end, it's the people who have walked this incredible journey with him that Commissioner Parker says he will miss the most. First of all, corrections employees are some of the most dedicated public servants there are. There, there's nobody that I know of that's more dedicated to public service than corrections uh, professionals. Uh, the work you do is very hard. Uh, it's very... Uh, it, you know, it, it's just very complex, and um, the, the employees of this department are champions. They are, they, you think, I, you heard me say this in 2020, they went to work every day, 
showed up every day, worked in an environment when other people were at home and they couldn't be at home, but they showed up every day because that's what they do. They work uh, to enhance public safety in this state, and they understand that. They understand the dedication and the commitment it takes to work in this department long term. And uh, they're the best we have to offer, and that will not go away. We have to work harder at being competitive uh, in the job market, and Tennessee has a great job market. But we'll figure this out and move forward and be able to hire more people uh, long term. In the meantime, we make adjustments to do what we have to do. It's not an easy problem to solve. It's a wicked problem. There's no easy answers. Uh, but there's a lot of people working on this, and, uh, and we'll get through this together. You know, there's so many people that I need to say thank you to. First of all, you know, to the Lord, I, who has really guided my path this whole time. Uh, with all the stress and with all the uncertainties that go on in this profession, uh, being a, a man of faith and relying on the Lord for guidance and leadership. Uh, you know, I've got to thank Him, first of all. Thank my family, my wife and children. You know, my wife who has been a single parent really for the last, since 2011, raising, bringing up two twins. And I've got a 24 year old who is, you know, all of them have, Madison, J. Coy and Mia have sacrificed many times when dad couldn't be there for a ball game. And Misty who is, again, you know, been there in West Tennessee by herself. While I've been here serving in this role, I say thank you and thank you for your sacrifice and uh, for your love. To the employees of this department, man, I, I owe you so much. Uh, you're all the best. You're the best. Uh, my leadership team. Uh, and TDOC in general, thank you for supporting uh, this old country boy from West Tennessee who had such a great honor to serve. Thank you to Governor Lee and, and the administration for giving me this opportunity, to Governor Haslam for giving me the first opportunity to serve in this role as commissioner. I am so thankful. I'm so honored to work uh, to have worked in your your administrations and to know your passion for what we do and thank you for allowing me uh, to lead this awesome team. Thank you to members of the General Assembly who have supported this agency and who I've become friends with in many cases and you know your support for corrections is important and it's going to be important to the next person uh, who comes here I, I ask for your continued support because this is not this is not an easy job it's the agency has a very d difficult mission and it really takes the support of everyone to be successful and signing off i would just say hey look there's brighter days ahead uh, i look forward to working with the new commissioner if they need my help uh, I look forward to seeing great things from this department and, you know, keep your head up, keep moving forward. This is a difficult job, but you have been called for this time and this role in corrections. Uh, you guys are the best. It's been my honor and privilege to serve with you. Uh, there's brighter days ahead. Uh, I love you all.